This episode of the ABIC podcast is brought to you by Sinashore Australia. Hello and welcome to the ABIC podcast, your online support community for the aesthetic and beauty industry. Here, we're strengthening and unifying the industry through representation, innovation and education. This is a platform created and dedicated to the aesthetic and beauty industry, valuing unity and advancement. We serve to represent, support and inspire you by connecting you with industry experts, expanding your knowledge through educational pieces and bringing you the latest industry news. This is the ABIC Podcast. I'm your host, Stephanie Miller, and today's guest is Amanda McKinnon from Laser Tat. Amanda is not only a highly accredited laser technician, but also the owner and director and driving force of Laser Tat in Adelaide. Amanda launched the business in 2012 with a wealth of knowledge in business management and a strong link to the tattoo industry because her husband, Kelly, is a renowned South Australian tattoo artist. She is one of the longest serving tattoo removal technicians in Adelaide and has a reputation of achieving superior results when it comes to tattoo removal. Amanda has a strong passion for creating a work-life balance for both herself and her staff. She also volunteers her time in various roles within the community, including as a mentor for the South Australian Business Chamber, the South Australian's Young Entrepreneur Scheme, and is the first clinic to offer free tattoo removal assistance to people who really need it through their Fresh Start program. Amanda is passionate about assisting people who aren't in a position to access or pay for tattoo removal. Sinashore Australia believes that the Fresh Start program is an important way to give back to the community and help change people's lives. They are proud to be able to support Amanda in telling this story. Today, we welcome Amanda McKinnon from Laser Tat. Welcome to the podcast, Amanda. How are you today? Thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're so welcome. I was really excited about today's podcast. You have a very unique and interesting story to tell. Before we start delving into the details of it, please tell us all about yourself and how you came to be in the beauty and aesthetic industry. Uh, Yeah, so um, my husband is a tattoo artist and he's been tattooing for nearly 20 years. So Um, My background before that was always in um, business management and running other people's businesses. And I had always wanted to do something for myself. So it sort of naturally progressed into um, the tattoo removal industry um, because obviously it linked well with what he was doing. And yeah, so in 2012, um, I started Laser Tap, which was the first business in SA just to solely focus on tattoo removal. Um, And, you know, back... 12 years ago, there wasn't a lot of tattoo removal getting done, but obviously over the course of 12 and a half years, we've definitely seen a a big uptake in that. There's so many changes in the um, tattoo removal space as well. We went from, you know, ND yags and and before that even chemical removal, and then we moved into, you know, the laser era, um, I suppose, and now we're in the Pico era and there's so many different lasers out there. And for me, who owns a clinic as well, I'm fascinated with people who can do this um, well. We We offer it in our clinic as well, but this is your specialty. Tell us a little bit about the actual treatment part of it. We definitely love it. You know, we have, uh, there's four of us laser technicians uh, within our business. And, you know, we just love the people that come in, um, being able to help people move forward, remove their tattoos, obviously. And and for a lot of people, that's a confidence thing, or, you know, they've had a a change in mind over the the years that they've had that tattoo, or they want to cover up and we need to fade it. Um, And yeah, working with people to achieve those goals um, is really rewarding for us. It would be so rewarding. It's something that I know within my clinic, when we are able to give someone that new lease on, you know, fresh canvas as well, it does tend to change things. I mean, tattoo is a very personal, wonderful thing to get, but then sometimes you have different stage in your life and you're like, I really 
need to move on from this and then finding someone who can can do the job but also have the compassion to understand you and, and talk you through the process and be there for you is really special. So I love what you're doing because what you're doing goes above and beyond even um, helping people like that. You actually are part of a Fresh Start program. Please tell us about this very, very special program and its objectives as well. Yeah, so in 2019, I launched the Fresh Start program, um, which was the first of its kind in Australia. There really wasn't anything like that um, happening here. And what it is, is an initiative where it offers free tattoo removal um, to vulnerable people that really need it the most um, and who can't afford to access that service. Um, so we see people like DV survivors that might be forced to have their ex-partner's name tattooed on them. We see people out of prison with hand, face and neck tattoos that want to rehabilitate back into society. Um, Ex-gang members, uh, we remove racist tattoos um, and we also remove um, any medical tattoos like radiation marks and iron infusions and things like that as well incredible i mean to start a program like that to launch an initiative like this what drove you to actually do this because it is a big undertaking it definitely is um yeah i guess i always had a passion for giving back to community and when i started laser tail it was always in the back of my head that this was happening overseas and you know do we need it here and as i sort of progressed in my business i started to see people coming in and in for a consultation and talking to me about their stories and then you know obviously I would give them a price per session and and they would just wouldn't be able to afford that and not be able to access that um, one particular client in mind um, which sort of was a pivotal moment for me was a DV survivor who had something really offensive forced to be tattooed on her and she had young kids and she didn't want them growing up and being able to read what was on her body. And she was in a safe house and obviously not a lot of income around her. So she just couldn't afford the service. And it just didn't sit right for me to send her away and, and not be able to help her. So she was one of our first um, Fresh Start participants that helped launch the program. And um, we've been able to fully remove that tattoo now and, you know, no no memory of that is is on her body anymore and and it's it's helped her be able to move forward that must have been such a rewarding emotional uh, time for you and, a, and an experience for you as well how do you how do you cope with that you know I know in clinics sometimes you meet clients and their stories profoundly change you they you connect with them in a certain way and it becomes more than it's not a transaction it's not it's more like you're actually part of their life and you're actually helping them and you you form a really huge really deep bond with them you know how has it been connecting with these people that you help it must be incredible it, it is and look you know I don't shy away from emotion there's been many tears on my end as well and you know making those phone calls and accepting people into the program is is something really special and it, it does it comes with a lot of emotion and and um, connection to those people and you know you you really like I take a lot of inspiration from these people and where they're at in their lives because they're all in a position where they're trying to move forward with their life and you know, tatter removal is not an easy thing. It's a commitment, you know, it's painful. And for these people to be in a position to commit to that, like to me is quite inspiring and very rewarding to be able to help them. What's the process? You know, like you said, you call them, you chat to them. Do they come and reach out to you? What is the actual way that you can access this program and how is it very different? How does it stand out amongst other similar type of initiatives in different spaces in the beauty and aesthetic industry? Yeah, so we have a um, criteria that people need to meet to be accepted into the program. So um, they apply through our website, um, which has a bit of a, a, um, some questions that they need to answer and um, and then we'll, we'll contact any support workers and, um, you know, have conversations with them to make sure they're, they're ready um, and in the right headspace. Because obviously, like we said, it's a bit of a commitment um, to achieve a complete removal. And yeah, once we've done that screening process, we'll obviously accept people that we see fit for that program and, and ready to move forward. 
Wow. Okay. So you're very organized, not just a compassionate person, but a super organized person to pull off something (laughs) this big. Yeah. (laughs) You have to be. Tell us like, you know, obviously there's so many implications of, of starting something like this. You're running a business and you're doing this altruistic charity work, if you will. How has that impacted your clinic's operations and also, you know, patient outcomes? Like, What have you seen? Yeah, so I, I guess we have to remember where we are volunteering our services and time. Um, so we have to mix that into running a business as well and, and making sure that, you know, things are progressing in that area too. So it's I think it's been really, really great for um, the business. You know, we've done a bit of media and stories and talked about it a little bit. Um, and sometimes from that, you know, we have strangers reach out to us and, and want to know about the program. And, you know, like I've, I've had someone, you know, wanting to donate money so that, that we can sign up more people and things like that, which, you know, opens a whole other can of worms. But yeah, like the community response has been really positive and even our existing clients, you know, love to hear about the stories and talk about it with us. And, and we love sharing the ones that we're obviously allowed to with permission from those clients. Um, but yeah, it's very, very rewarding um, to be able to offer that and um, to be able to see the response from obviously people involved in the process, but also the outside community as well. You must have such a sense of um, fulfillment in doing something so important and your staff, I mean, for staff morale, I know I love my staff, but they, they need more, they need substance, they need a purpose in life, um, any work. They love it when they have, you know, something more than just business to focus on. How has it affected your team morale and, you know, just that atmosphere at work? Yeah, I think everyone in our team loves when they get to work on the Fresh Start program or see one of our Fresh Start participants come in and um, check in with them and how they're going and, and things like that. It, it it doesn't come lightly though, like some stories can be quite heavy. So we make sure that there's obviously support in place um, for things like that. Right. Um, when we first launched the program, we had 77 applicants in the first week of launching. So, you know, there is- Wow, a big, Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, there's definitely a big um, need for it. And we're only in Adelaide, you know, this is happening all across Australia and and we've had participants apply from interstate who we've been able to refer to other clinics as well. So there's definitely a need for it. Leaders, innovators, developers and best-in-class creators of energy-based aesthetic and medical treatment systems Sinashore develops and manufactures a diverse range of leading treatment applications for hair removal, tattoo removal, skin revitalization, scar reduction, women's health, body contouring and more. Always one step ahead of the industry, their innovative products are used by practitioners, physicians and aesthetic business owners worldwide to enhance their offerings and provide cutting edge treatments for their patients. In addition to laser and RF technologies, Sinashore Australia also provides marketing, clinical and technical support services. Learn how Sinashore Australia can help you grow and succeed. Contact the team at www.sinashoreaustralia.com today. So you have expanded this program across the nation. We have, yeah. That is insane. I mean, we're talking about one clinic now, and now you're talking about you've expanded, you've actually modeled this program and delivered it to other states. Tell us about this process. How do you become a fresh start program and how do you get involved? I think um, it's sort of naturally progressed where we've had a few clinics um, that are doing very similar things to us um, using similar technology. Um, and and have a number of years, obviously, experience in tattoo removal. And it sort of naturally progressed that, yeah, that'd be a right fit to work with the program and, and offer it um, in, in those states as well. So, yeah, we've got um, clinic, a clinic in um, Tasmania, 
Melbourne, um, Brisbane and WA currently working with the program, which is fantastic. And obviously that, that means we can help more people. And, um, you know, if, if they're applying through us, we've, we've got channels to be able to refer to. Speaking of you can help more people, 77 people applied in the first week. I mean, I'm not sure if you have access to numbers at the top of your head, but do you have a rough idea on how many people you've helped? Uh, so we've probably helped probably around 50 people through the program so far, which is incredible. And yeah, some of the stories, you know, it's completely transformed lives. Like uh, another example of that would be um, we had a participant, Brad, who, um, you know, went down the wrong path in life, ended up going to prison. Um, when he came out, he had hand, face and neck tattoos found it hard to get uh, a job and and sometimes participants find it hard to get housing as well. Um, and being able to remove tattoos off the face that are, uh, you know, stopping them from rehabilitating back into society um, is a massive, massive um, game changer in their life. And, you know, now we've been able to completely remove those tattoos and he's rehabilitated, he's got a great job and he's got a family you know, he takes his little girl to school every day. And before, when he had tattoos, he was really embarrassed to do that. And his daughter was embarrassed as well. So, you know, it can completely change people's lives and, um, you know, really help them rehabilitate back into society or move forward. You must have so many of those incredible transformative stories as well. It really touched me in talking about the previous woman that had, you know, I never thought about this, but you know, you can have tattoos that you choose, but you can have tattoos that that possibly are influenced by other people in your life as well. It never really occurred to me until you actually said it. And that's something that I suppose when we go through our lives and we, we choose it for ourselves, that's one thing. But having it chosen for us or forced upon us is something that has got to be deeply um, affecting to your life. Things that that are so profound like this, I suppose, would touch you and, and would strive you and make you want to do more and help more people, right? Absolutely. And, you know, like we think about tattoos and, you know, a lot of people get tattoos when they're um, in a certain time in their life as a reminder or, um, yeah, in those cases, some some people can be forced to have something put on them. And then, you know, maybe they've move forward in their life and that's a constant reminder of that time in their past that you know they're really working hard to move forward from and so it's a barrier for a lot of people you know a lot of people lose a lot of self-worth and confidence because of the tattoos on their body and to be able to restore that for people is is just so special like I can't explain it enough I don't think but you know, we've seen those transformations for ourselves and, um, yeah, it, it's an amazing thing. That's so beautiful. And, and you know, when you do good like that, when you put good out there, you feel great about yourselves, but also a magical thing starts happening when you start helping other people like that. You start to get some of that wonderful energy back and great things happen to you and the people around you. How has this program done that for you has it enhanced your clinic and and your life your people around you yeah I just think um you know volunteering if if you're in a position to and and giving back to the community is something that we should all think about if if we're in a position to do that it it's just so rewarding it's it's inspiring you know it's like you said morale boosting you know, it's great for our clinic to be able to offer that. It's great for our staff to be involved in um, it. Yeah. I mean, we're only playing a small part in, in these people's lives that are making amazing transformations. So, you know, there is a whole bigger picture here, but um, it's great to be able to offer that small part um, in their journey and, and see the transformation from that. You know, when you're talking, it makes me want to explore doing this as well in my clinic because I'm, as I said, I actually offer this service. I'm not sure um, what the requirements are, but I'm pretty sure a lot of listeners out there are thinking to themselves, I actually have a clinic. I do have, um, you know, they, they, I do offer this service. How do I investigate becoming a part of this incredible program? 
Yeah, I mean, there's, there's so many different ways people can give back and you don't have to be doing just tattoo removal. You know, you could be a, a hair business or, or a, a different beauty business and there's lots of ways, you know, even for like a hairdresser, for example, you could get in touch with with one of the women's services and, and offer that service to some of those um, women that are going through really hard and vulnerable times. Um, we all know having nice hair makes us feel so much better um and yeah so there's lots of different ways I think um people can be involved in giving back into community um if it is with the uh, fresh start program I would obviously encourage anyone to reach out and have a chat and we're always happy to help and give advice and guidelines around that I think it is important obviously to do it for the right reasons it's not all about you know um benefiting the the clinic, I guess, as the number one priority. I think the number one priority for us is is giving back and helping, and and those things come and it's great. But um, our main focus is obviously helping these people, and um, and that's why we started it, and that's why we continue to do it. Obviously, investing in the right technology, making sure you're using you know lasers and things like that that are good on the skin. Um, having experience, all those things are obviously important um, with us and the Fresh Start program. So, um, but yeah, just reach out and we, we would always be happy to have a chat. Oh, that's wonderful. And you mentioned that, you know, obviously using technology to, to deliver this, do you get support from suppliers and industry out there to help you to deliver this program? Uh, yeah, we um, we work with Sinoshaw lasers. Um, so we have the, a, a PicoShaw and a Revlight SI. And our other laser um, providers that are offering this program are using the same technology and um, Sinoshaw have been great and, and really supportive of the program. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, they're actually our foundation members as well. So um, that's a wonderful alignment. It, it's great when you actually get suppliers to, to back you and, and give you a helping hand here and there, right? It's, it's yeah. really important that we all get together and, and, and pull together for, for the beauty and aesthetic community. And it's always great when you get a little helping hand. And, you know, obviously ABIC will support you in what you're doing because I think we think it's an incredible endeavour. But if I actually want to sign up to this program or if somebody who's listening out there wants to sign up, where do they go? Yeah, I would encourage anyone to head to our website and, and contact us. There's obviously contact details on there, just lasertat.com.au. But yeah, always happy to chat with anyone um, that uh, is thinking about it or even in a different industry and how it could work. So it doesn't just have to be tatter removal. You know, we've we've also worked with, with um, other people and other businesses like gyms and, you know, employee agencies that have offered services to our participants um, just to help them if, you know, if they're struggling to get a job and things like that. So there's so many different ways that people can be involved in giving back to the community. Because mm -hmm. it is called Fresh Start Program. So perhaps if you offer skin treatments, maybe that could be part of it. So other services you can include in the Fresh Start Program? Uh, we haven't really explored that too much. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely happy to chat with anyone that might be thinking about something like that. Well, maybe that's something we can chat about as well. We've got a lot of skin therapists out there listening yeah. to this program thinking, you know what, I do skin, I do help, I can help with scars and I can help with skin conditions, but perhaps I don't have um, the technology available to be able to offer tattoo removal. But if you are willing to, wanting to give back, you know, Amanda is a wealth of knowledge. Um, also extremely humble, by the way. Um, and you've got such a great energy, such a beautiful energy. So I'm sure that anybody out there that's wanting to reach out and find out about how they can start helping the community, Amanda, will be so happy to hear from you as well. Thank you. Well, thank you, Amanda. This has been a really refreshing, wonderful conversation. We'd love to have you back. If we get any progress with the other side of it, the skin side of it, we'd be extremely happy to chat about that as well. But thank you so much for the wonderful work you're doing and, and for joining us on the podcast today. Thank you. It's great to be able to share it and um, obviously hopefully inspire um, other people to get involved and, and do similar things too. That's wonderful. Bye, everyone. See ya. You've reached the end of another episode of the ABIC podcast, your online support community for the aesthetic and beauty industry. Thank you for listening. And until next time, stay connected.